Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, as we are continuing Season 8, which is Season of the Undying. The ship that you see here in orbit, this one's an Iron Banner ship that I actually got. I'll show you what it is right now. Okay, so here's the legendary Iron Banner ship that you may have a chance to get in Season 8, which is called Flying Foundry. Here's a quick little preview of this. Actually, let's go ahead and hide the menu. Now, I actually did put on a Iron Banner shader out of this one. Now, without the shader, it's most likely going to be like a, a blue or blue and orange uh, color technique. Now, I did put on the Transband effect right here, which is Veteran's Flare. And the shader I put on is Iron Ioxide. So how do you get this shader? Basically, all you have to do is dismantle, I'm pretty sure it's um, Iron Banner armor in order for the shader to potentially have a guaranteed drop. So that's the shader I put onto the Flying Foundry ship. So the question is, how do you obtain this ship? Well, first of all, before I explain how you guys can get it, you can find it into the Collections category, under Vehicles, and then go to Season 8. Now, it has to be inside Vehicles and Ships here. So let's go to Season 8, and you'll find Flying Foundry. Now, here's how you can get this ship. Anytime in Season 8, or I don't know if it reflects in Seasons 9, 10, or 11, but but for sure in Season 8, or maybe future, <laughs> future seasons coming up, uh, in order to get the Flying Foundry ship, you must win an Iron Banner match. So, you must win a match, and have a chance to drop. Now, you have to base on RNG luck. This is not a guaranteed drop. Okay? So, you basically have to rely on your RNG skills, hope that it drops, and you can uh, sail away in that ship. So, basically, I'm just keeping it short and simple. <laughs> oh, said simple there. So, that's how you get the Flying Foundry ship. Win an Iron Bear match, hope for RNG luck, and you'll get it. Alright, thought I'd keep it uh, plain and simple. So, with the first Iron Banner of Season 8 officially over... Oh, well, there goes, there goes the shader again. So, with the first Iron Banner of Season 8 officially over... Um, I actually did manage to get some pretty nice RNG drops, and thanks to my six Iron Banner bounties that I've completed on my very first character only, raised uh, 10 power levels from 951 all the way to 61, plus the um, artifact bonus. So... Regular gear, 949, plus 12 for the artifact, so that's why I'm up to 961. Basically hitting the... <clears throat> with the regular gear at the 950 hard cap. Haven't hit the pinnacle cap yet, because it's going to be around 972 or so. 960 regular gear for the pinnacle cap, you know what I mean. Alright, so this was actually a very good Iron Banner that I played and got a nice couple double kills on one fusion rifle shot. And oddly enough, I actually managed to get back-to-back -back exotics in two straight matches. Got the um, Amakar Spine in one of the matches, and then the next match after that, got Tractor Cannon. And of course, a Prime Engram later on. And I finally got the Season 8 quest officially over. So, in order to hand in those tokens to Lord Salvanen as well, before we wrap this all up, you must complete the Season 8 quest line on that same character. And if you do so, then you can hand in the Iron Banner tokens and go for that sweet, precious loot. Other than that, I thought I'd keep it short and sweet. So I'm going to keep the grinding going and uh, keep on going until Season 9. So here's some future uploads coming your way on this channel. We have the Leviathan's Breath quest coming up hopefully very, very soon. That starts October 22nd. You have the uh, dungeon going live next Tuesday on the 29th. And from the 29th, all the way to November 19th, I think it is. Festival of the Lost returns next week. I can't wait. Definitely that time of the Halloween year, folks. And of course, the final assault in the Vex Offensive. We could be looking at a possible return of the Undying Mind battle. Plus, um, Nightmare Hunts on Master Difficulty, and hopefully a 100k Nightfall run on Master Difficulty. That's your upcoming upload schedule. Hopefully, Hopefully I'll complete it and then get it uploaded ASAP. That's all she wrote, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.